Testament that you can use because this is not me. I never used to wear an apron. For one, it has a I will forever be thankful for the little bit of curiosity that God placed in my heart to slow down of what it would be like to live a life that was slower. Good morning. Usually I will film my morning routine where I am reading my Bible and all those things getting ready. And I decided today I just honestly don't like filming those parts of my day because it's the only time that I get to just kind of slowly wake up. I feel like I'm a morning person because I love mornings. I love to wake up early. I love to get dressed and get ready for the day before my kids wake up. But I am not like super happy until like an hour after I've been awake. I figured I would start filming after that hour. So this is after that hour. It's about 6.30 right now and the kids are already awake. They did come downstairs, but I told them to go back up to their room until their little light turned green. I did want to briefly share a little bit of a wardrobe thing. So today I'm wearing a dress as a skirt. I am not usually, I'm not usually a dress person, but I have one dress that I love wearing. Um, and I have decided, you know what, I'm just gonna like try it out. So there was one day last week that I tried it out. I put a little apron on and I was like, you know what? I love this. I feel like <laughs> so feminine and whimsical and like little house on the prairie, just like frolicking around my house. <laughs> so I have decided that I love dresses. All that to say, I have one dress and we don't really have the budget right now to just go out and buy a bunch of dresses. So I'm trying to figure out different ways to wear this dress. And this morning I had this idea of putting on a t-shirt over it and just kind of like, um, I made a knot in the back and just tucked it under and I think it looks pretty good. And it's going to be my new uniform. <laughs> so I kind of like it. There's less decision making in the morning. Anyways, yeah, let's get to the day. never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck, I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby I feel like I say this in every single video, but it's so true. I am so incredibly thankful for this abundant joy that God has given me 
And I seriously pray this for every single mom that feels overwhelmed and frustrated that God can give you a better way that motherhood does not have to be miserable day in and day out. The boys have already kind of started. I'll show you. Started homeschool a little bit. We're doing some coloring over here and Joey took out his little activity book. Right now, Joshua is eating breakfast. I made, um, this is so unlike me. I, anyone who thinks that they can't do homemaking or make things from scratch or snacks, <laughs> I'm a testament that you can do this because this is not me like a year ago or even two months ago. <laughs> so like here are my fresh blueberries <laughs> for my child. Okay. Uh, <laughs> This is so easy to make. You should definitely try this. I have some blueberries that I just basically covered in yogurt. And the yogurt, I bought this from the grocery store and this was really expensive. And so I went to Costco and bought this plain version and decided to try to make my own version of this so that it would be a little bit less expensive. It comes in a pack of two of these. You just put vanilla in here and a little bit of maple syrup, mixed it up, and they like it. I drizzled that all over the blueberries and froze them, and it's a great snack for them. It's a little bit stinky in here, so we're gonna change some poop. If you are new to my channel, something that I just want to share with you is that, first of all, if you are overwhelmed and frustrated in motherhood and burnt out, wondering if there is a better way, my hope is that I can be a friend who will come alongside of you and show you another way in motherhood and one that works within the limitations of being a stay-at-home mom. For so long, I was fighting against my limits. I was fighting God. I wanted a career. I did not want to be a stay-at-home mom. I wanted to bring in finances. I wanted less time with my children. I was overwhelmed by them. I felt like I couldn't spend time with them because I just didn't have the mental capacity. I was overstimulated. And so if that is you, I am hoping that I can show you a way that doesn't fight against the limits that God places on us purposefully and lovingly. He places these limits on us for a reason and it is not because he wants us to just suffer. That is not his heart behind it. There is such a good thing that is happening that we cannot see. But let me tell you, over time, we will slowly see the reasons why he did the things that he did. Not all of the answers. We will not get all the answers, but slowly we will begin to see why he made certain decisions and as it unfolds we will be so forever thankful that he chose to say no at certain times i thought i would briefly mention the apron because i never used to wear an apron and now i have been wearing it pretty much every day the idea kind of came from my sister posting a little article about the history of aprons and just their different uses and I had never thought about all of those different ways that an apron can be used. And for one, it has pockets are amazing. I've been able to stick like a dish rag in here and just kind of like wipe their faces as we go in the day. Wipe my hands off if I'm washing my hands. It's probably kind of gross. I probably need to change this out a little bit more regularly. But that's beside the point. <laughs> yeah, it's just the apron is, it's a lost art. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> It's time to have a 
uh, tea party circle time. So let's what? everybody get in your spots. Oh, look. like Mr. Duck might need a bath today. Okay. First, we're gonna gather around and we're gonna say everybody's name. So Josiah, you can go first, and then Elephant can go next. What is our scripture? Colossians. Colossians three two. After the Would You Rather game, I had them play this cute little game that you just basically put little letters and shapes or whatever level that they're on into the basket. You could do addition problems for kids who are a little bit older, but it's just a fun thing for everyone to get to try different levels and talk about different things that maybe the younger kids haven't learned yet and the older kids can teach the younger kids. I asked them if they wanted to play this the next day and they didn't want to. I kind of wonder if it was because it all just literally looked like trash. So I might just make it look a little bit prettier and more appealing and maybe they'll be more interested in it. But while they were playing the game, they did seem to enjoy it. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair Right now, the boys are upstairs playing So I'm gonna try to get my bed made Because usually I have that made already by now But I didn't do that this morning Because the filming kind of pushed it back a little bit But I'm gonna try to do that before they come downstairs one thing that I noticed about myself was that I definitely prefer to do language arts, so I try to save that one for during naps when I feel the least motivated and do math while everyone else was awake. This was the seventh week of consistently doing the formal curriculum for four days a week, so I decided that we are going to take a break next week. I was noticing my son getting a little bit burnt out, so I decided that's probably what's best. Right here, I'm just keeping my one-year-old occupied with giving him a snack. And then my two-year-old, Josiah, was working with just some books he just wanted to look at. This doesn't always happen, but this day was really good. One thing that I really love about homeschooling is that when my five-year-old Eli kind of feels unfocused and just like he needs a break, he can tell me, hey, mommy, I think I need to go play for a little bit. And I can say, yeah, no problem. Like, go play for five minutes and then come back. And that is so nice to have that flexibility. That being said, it is difficult to come back in the five minutes. So it might be, you know, an hour later that I actually get around to working with him again, just because of the inevitable things that come up with having other kids around. Eli, he had it first.
Originally, when I was editing that portion of the video that I just showed you, I had music playing over it, and I was just like, you know what? I wonder what would happen if I just took away that sound, and you could hear what it's like to be in this corner of the world, and the truth is that just listening to it was so soothing to my soul, and that is the reality of taking away screens and the physical noise that you hear from the screens and the noise that's in your head I feel like it's so incredibly soothing to just hear the natural noises of the day the chopping of an apple the water falling down from the water table that my kids are playing with the wind chime that swings in the breeze on my tree that I have these are all such little things that I never noticed before but I never want to go back to what I was doing before. I will forever be thankful for the little bit of curiosity that God placed in my heart to slow down of what it would be like to live a life that was slower. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will go ahead and click that like and subscribe button and hopefully I will see you on the next one.